But we'll crack on with this story, and it's a fascinating one. Uh, Monday's Mirror, carrying an update on the pig heart transplant story that you actually were talking about a few days ago on this show. Yes. So um, this, this is a follow-on from this uh, story. Uh, so this man, he's basically a, a, a patient who was given a pig heart, uh, but now um, someone is saying he, it's not, he's not worthy because he stabbed a man and le- left him paralysed. So basically this man, he did the crime, he did the time, because he did go to prison for this, um, and he didn't do the full ser- uh, sentence, as like, invariably people don't. Um, but he's been given this pig's heart. I think that's punishment enough. <laughs> You could but, argue. You know, like he wasn't, you know, it wasn't given a human heart, but he was given a pig's heart. And it's, it, was, it wasn't like it was guaranteed to work. Sounds like a bit of a late night eBay purchase, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds it a, quite poetically appropriate. Yeah, it the does. man's clearly not a nice guy. He stabbed someone because he thought his wife was flirting with him. Uh, he paralysed him. Uh, so I think he sh- uh, he, you know, his original heart was clearly defective. Mm. Given the pig's heart poetically yeah, yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, but the thing about it is, I mean, I, it's the sister of the victim who's saying, you know, the, the, he doesn't deserve this. And I completely sympathise with her position. You know, her brother was stabbed to, to the point of paralysis. Um, but we do, like you say, you know, he served his time. Mm-hmm. We do treat people good or bad. We don't mm-hmm. assess people in terms of ethics before we treat them. So, you know, it's the way it goes, I guess. But And it was an experiment that could have gone wrong. And that's why I'm so against the idea that somebody that hasn't been vaccinated doesn't get medical treatment or has oh, well, to pay for their medical treatment. You know, I'm vaxxed up to the eyeballs, but I would, you know, seek that every citizen of this country uh, is, is supported if they fall ill with COVID. And mm-hmm. I think that's the danger of that sort of conversation, because yeah. it takes us into this realm where he's a bad guy. He doesn't deserve a new heart. Same mm-hmm. as drinking. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? If you say, well, if, you, if you're an alcoholic or you drink too much, you don't get treatment or if you smoke. Mm. We've got to treat everyone, irrespective of what decisions they've made in life. You know, I think that's... Yeah, you know, that's I think it's, it's, like, it's almost like you've got cameras in my house. <laughs> Maybe I have. <laughs> what an exciting thought. <laughs> <laughs>